Another day had just begun, and the garden was coming to life. Down at the bottom of the garden, near the shed, was an old broken sundial nobody wanted. On the sundial was a spider, a spider with an unusual thought. I wonder if Soup likes to go for walks. It depends on how many legs it's got. Does it really depend on the number of legs one has, suppose? Oh, yes. Those who have more like walking further. It stands to reason. I suppose you're right, but I've got, um, eight legs. And I hardly walk anywhere. You don't know what you're missing. <laughs> Possibly not. Anyway, who or what is this soup? Ah, soup is the creature or creatures who own the coat. Coat? What coat? The coat I found this morning. Would you like to see it? I don't see why not. I've nothing else to do. Ah, magnificent, isn't it? Well... As soon as I saw it, I knew I wanted it. The only problem is, it belongs to somebody else. Where are they, then? I don't see them. Well, they're not here at the moment, but they can't be far away because they've left this wonderful coat here. Who are these creatures, then? They are soup. Look here. Their name is quite clearly marked. Oh. How odd. Morning, fellow travellers through life. My, my, Mr. Harrison. We're very serious this morning. Yes, being serious is one of the many burdens I have to bear. Morning, Ariadne. Oh, morning, Mr. Harrison. Hello, how do you do, and uh, so on. What's all this, then? Having a throw out of all your rubbish? Uh, well, no, not exactly. Well, that's what it looks like to me. A rather nasty, tatty piece of rubbish at that. Oh, I thought it was rather nice. Yes. Nice? What's nice about it? Well, I rather like the shape and the word soup. Right in the middle. What or who is soup? Soup is the owner of this rather lovely garment. Garment? Are you telling me that some poor fool would actually wear this sort of thing? Oh, yes. I would love to wear... Anyone who would consider wearing such a ghastly object... Oh. ...must be considered to be no more than an idiot. Oh, I see. Well, if you'll just excuse me, I think I'll go and put this away. That is, if you'll excuse me. That wasn't very nice, was it, Mr. Harrison? What do you mean? I thought it wasn't a very good coat. But seeing all those things about it wasn't very nice. I was honest. There is a difference. Well, if you ask me, it doesn't pay to be honest all the time. What are you saying, suppose? Of course it pays to be honest. Where would we be if we weren't honest? I'm not saying that, Mr. Harrison. It's just that, at times, I think it's probably better to not quite tell the truth. Oh, no. Oh, no, 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 no. I could never be like that. With me, it's honesty or nothing at all. You always tell the truth, do you? I do. I never tell a lie. Never. Could I ask, Mr. Harrison? Could I stay with you this morning? I'd like to see real honesty in action. Well, of course, dear fellow. I'd be only too pleased. Come, let us go and make the world... A better place. You? Uh, look, do you see what I mean? It's anorak, isn't it? Nearly right, suppose. It's an inferior woodlouse being mindless. My word. You do see things differently, don't you, Mr. Harris? I just see them honestly, suppose. It's all a superior snail like myself can do. <clears throat> anorak. Whee! Oh, did, it, Papa? did you want something, Mr. Harrison? Good morning, inferior woodlouse. That's Pillbug, if you don't mind. My friend the worm here and I were just discussing certain matters. And I felt I had to come over and tell you something. Oh, yes. And what is that, then? You are an idiot, oh. woodlouse. Rolling and unrolling all day. It's affected your brain. Is that it, then? Is that all? Yes, that is it. That is all. Very good. 
Now, if you'll excuse me. Whee! Honesty has a devastating effect. Your honesty doesn't seem to have affected Analak in any way, Mr. Harrison. Possibly not on the outside, but inside, he is not a happy woodlouse. Oh. Hey. Ah. ah, now see here, suppose. Here is a prime example of someone who thinks he's right and is, in fact, very, very wrong. Ah, ah, ah. Morning all. Lovely day, isn't it? Exercising again, I see, Lambeth. Oh, yes, Mr. Harrison. Got to keep up the old muscularitude. Ah, you can never do enough. You has to work at it every day. Well, of course, you know you're missing out on so much, Lambeth. Fine words, fine thoughts may as well not exist as far as you're concerned. Oh, none of that stuff matters to me, Mr. Harrison, as you keep telling me. I ain't got a brain anyway. <laughs> well, do you think it's a better place now, Mr. Harrison? What's that? The world. Is it a better place for you, being honest? Oh, undoubtedly, I suppose. I can rest tonight knowing that I've done my best noise. Why does there always have to be noise? Listen to the old duffer. Thinks there's noise when there isn't any at all. Don't know why he bothers coming round here anyway. Nobody really likes him. Morning, old and ancient. How pleasant to see you again. But you just now, said... is there anything I can do for you? What? Oh, it's the snail. No, there's nothing you can uh -huh, do. I see. I was just out taking the air. Uh, my friend the worm here and I were just saying how good it is to see you up and about. No, we weren't. Ha, 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 ha. Suppose we'll have his fun. To be honest, Ancient, he called you an old duffer. Uh, did he now? Yes, and he said that nobody likes you. Is that what he said? Now, look here. I... That is right, isn't it, Mr. Harrison? That is the uh, honest truth. And you did say, to be honest. Well, Harris, uh, but, hmm? is that the honest truth? Well, I... Is it? Well, yes, oh. it is, Ancient. But what I meant was... I have been hearing reports all yes. morning about you, Harrison. Not very nice reports. Rudeness and nastiness mm. to spiders and pill bugs and the like. Mr. Harrison says it's honesty. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Harrison is an old windbag. Ooh. And the sooner he learns some manners, the better. I know. Do you hear me, Harrison? Yes, ancient. Now, just remember, Harrison. Creatures have their own lives to lead. They don't appreciate you interfering with your so-called honesty. <laughs> if you want to have friends, you should start behaving like one yourself. Yes. Or it will be the worse for you. Honesty, indeed. I remember that. It's such rubbish in all my life. Oh, my. Honesty. I'm one to look about honesty. He I is very mind. wise, isn't well, he? Well, um, <clears throat> of, of course, I was teasing earlier on. <clears throat> of course, I, I agree with everything the ancient says. Morning once again. Hello, how do you do, Ender? <laughs> so on. Ah, there he is near. Uh, how are you? Oh, very well, thank you. And, uh, your coat. Oh, that old thing. I took your advice, Mr. Harrison, and I threw it away. Oh, did you? What a shame. Yes. It was such a... Uh, such a nice coat. Really? Do you really think so? Oh, yes. Well, I can get it back easily enough. It's only over there. I didn't throw it very far. Bye, bye. I can get it now and put it on. Or maybe you'd like to wear it, Mr. Harrison. Uh, really, I Yes, oh. why not? It will oh. suit you. <laughs> Hang on one moment and I'll get it. Oh, this is very uh, well, no, exciting. Uh, <laughs> oh, dearie me. <laughs> what have I done? Never mind, Mr. Harrison. You may have lost your honesty, but you've gained a friend and a new coat by the look of it. <laughs> so as Mr. Harrison the snail tried on his new coat with his newfound friend, Ariadne the spider, the rest of the creepy crawlies settled down to watch the sun go down beyond the old broken sundial. Nobody wanted. Uh -huh.